let's make this a road trip vlog. That looks really good. That Vermont life right here. Grandpa goes, screw this, move it, move it closer. Can we just talk about this thick piece of bread? Like it looks so beautiful. Okay, here is the Barbie fit. I had to do it, you guys. I'm like trying to, trying to toss the tears back. You guys, I'm so happy. Yara and I are at Whole Foods. And look what they have. The banana cream flavor of Olipop. I'm gonna get one because I've been wanting to try it. I'm so excited. Don't mind me, I definitely look a little cuckoo right now. We were like settled in and we were both like, wait a minute, we needed to get something because we're going to my family reunion tomorrow and we were in charge of like vegetables and like a little veggie tray. So we came to Whole Foods and just got, we're just getting like a few things. So, I don't know. I'm just really excited about trying the banana cream flavor. Yay. Yarman said we're gonna easily gonna spend $100. And we spent $100. <laughs> Mind you, we 100% came for a veggie tray. But then we got road trip snacks. It's a three and a half hour drive tomorrow. We ended up getting, oh, I got magnesium gummies because I use those calm drink, the magnesium drink. Um, and they have them in gummies now. So I got the gummies. Those are $20. And then we ended up getting also a cake to bring to the reunion. Oh, and here's Bruni and the Tessie. Look at that boy. <laughs> we had the AC going for him. Hello, my sweet angel. Hello, my sweet boy. Look at that big nose. And we got Yar taking full advantage of the frunk. Oh, does it not fit? <laughs> He's gonna make it work. He loves the frunk. And then we got waters for the hotel because we're staying over at the reunion. It's in Vermont. So yeah, we got snacks, waters, cherries, kettle corn, a bunch of stuff for the road. I'll show you guys. I was not planning on vlogging right now. <laughs> Clearly, it's been a day. But yeah, we're going to a family reunion tomorrow, leaving early. It's a three and a half hour drive. You got it in, success. Three and a half hour drive. Starts around noon, so we're gonna get up and out. Then we're gonna stay over in a hotel um, after the reunion and then come back on Sunday. Tonight's Friday night, so that's the plan. I'm drinking a poppy now, so I'm not gonna try the banana cream until we hit the road tomorrow, but I'm really excited to try it in the vlog. It's been on my list and I haven't been able to find it. Tomorrow. Good morning. So. I did not vlog more last night, but we got home from Whole Foods and we watched the new episode of Hijack on Apple TV. We are obsessed. Thanks, babe. So it is bright and early. We got up at 6.30 and now we're getting ready to hit the road. So I need makeup that's gonna last all day um, because we're staying over, like I said, at a hotel tonight. So I, I don't think I'm gonna put makeup on tomorrow. Like we're just gonna get up and out tomorrow when we wake up. So I'm just gonna like do my makeup for today, pack super light so we can just wake up and head home tomorrow. I need to get more double wear. <laughs> I recently fell back in love with double wear. Forgot how good it is. Oh God, we are scraping, <laughs> scraping. But Bruni's coming with us. I'm so excited for a little family road trip. I just packed some food for him and we got a dog friendly hotel and he's gonna be meeting some new family members today. Look, how, look at that color match, oh my God. This one is like, that's like perfect, no? With the neck? Wow, this color is called Pebble, 3C2. So yeah, he'll be meeting some new family. My family members, you guys know, will be there too. Like. Mimi and Greta, so I had a coffee, but I think I'm gonna save like a little more caffeine when we get there. I had a hard time falling asleep. I think cause I knew, when I like know there's travel the next day, I have kind of a hard time sleeping, but I think I'm gonna like take a nap in the car. Thankfully we've got Yar driving us today. I will not be co-piloting, I will be sleeping. You just like cannot beat the coverage of double wear. And this is the one foundation where like, if you set with powder, you know, well, um, you can like actually blow your nose and it won't all come off around your nose. Cause like, I've still been having allergies and I'm like always blowing my nose. And then I hate when my foundation comes off around my nose. I think I'm gonna do like layers of glam today, like 
cream product and powder because it is like a long day and I don't really want to like touch up. But the good news is where we're going, it's going to be, you know, like not too warm. I think that since we're going like so north, it's going to be like low 70s, which is going to be refreshing. But the weather's good, which will be nice. And then to like bring the veggie platter, I have um this like special cooler, like, like, like these thermal bags that I had back from when we moved to this house. Um, <laughs> we were transporting our fridge stuff. I am so obsessed with this Cherry Blossom Babe blush from Nude Sticks. It is like just the prettiest pink. It reminds me of like a cream version of the Dior Rosy Glow. Okay, so we've got our cheek products layered. I'm gonna do some e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. I'm trying to think what I want to wear today. Cause like I want to be comfy in the car. So I'm kind of contemplating just putting on like a comfy sundress or something, you know? It's like kind of casual, but just like, you know, easy to wear in the car. I also wish I had Dramamine so I could like do some editing in the car. Cause I get car sick if I don't take Dramamine and if I like try to watch or read something. So I might, if we have time, I might stop at the drugstore and get some. All right, we're gonna set the crap out of our face with some Laura Mercier translucent powder. So we don't have to worry about this budging all day. Like I'm going crazy, I'm going crazy with the powder. Like if you need your makeup to last all day in heat, in the summer, for anything, this is the combo. And then at the end, if you do some like nice hydrating setting powder or setting spray, it will, you know, help it look a little more natural and less powdery the base is laid all right i don't want to bore you guys with doing my whole makeup routine but now i'm just going to go and do my powders and all that jazz and i will let you guys know when we hit the road one eternity later okay so makeup is done and i am trying to embrace bottom mascara because you guys said it looks good um, but I'm not wearing lashes, which feels weird, but I am like loving my natural lashes lately because I've been using my serum, my lash food serum, and I feel like my lashes are getting better. I'm going to do my hair when we get closer. Um, it's just in a clip right now because I'm going to want to take it out when I put my head down to rest, <laughs> but I'm wearing an Amazon dress. This is one of my newer ones. Super cute. This one has pockets and is stretchy, so it has like a ruffle at the bottom, and it has gathering right here. It's very flattering, I feel. I don't know, I just, I really like it. It kind of looks like an Abercrombie dress. Um, and I just, I like how stretchy and comfy it is. So um, yeah, I will link this dress. Bruno is excited, he can tell we're going somewhere. And then um, I love this Weekender bag, also from Amazon. It's so cute, it's like a cream color. Um, and it has the bottom spot for shoes. This is the perfect bag for this trip, the perfect size. And then it has a cross body long strap, or it has these, it has a pocket in the front, pocket in the back, and it can slide over luggage. And it literally just fits everything perfectly. It's kind of like a little base dupe. So really good price, they had different colors, but of course I love like the beige creamy color with the gold hardware. Perfect for this trip. Oh, and it has a, uh, it has little hardware on the bottom so it doesn't get dirty when you set it down, which is super nice. Okay, so I have my pills, I have dog food, I have road trip snacks and the cake, and then we have our vegetable tray, and then I washed the cherries for a road trip snack. And then these are the bags that I'm using. I'm glad I saved these because they are reusable and they will keep things frozen up to two hours. So I'm gonna I'm gonna leave the cherries out with the snacks because I feel like we'll eat those pretty early on. And then this thing just like snaps into place. So cake and road trip snacks, dog food. All right, we are off. Yeah, I tell them. <laughs> What's happening? Right now? I'm just trying to leave. We're a little bit late. Yarman has to vacuum the beach sand out of the car. 
He can't do a three and a half hour road trip with sand in the car. Who's more type A? I don't know. Okay, you guys, we are making our first stop of the road trip. I'm like, let's make this a road trip vlog. Um, we're gonna stop and get breakfast. It's 9.30, so we're making decent time. Um, but we were just talking about how Yar loves his Tesla, by the way. Like, Tesla's a 10 out of 10, not a regretted purchase. Um, really good. But we were just talking about how this car has so many of the features of the Tesla. Like, if you want a Tesla dupe, <laughs> you can get the freaking Hyundai. Hyundai, right? So, I, I went on their Twitter page. Yeah. And their bio at some point said Hyundai pronounced Hyundai like Sunday. Yeah. So like that's yeah. how like they want you to pronounce it apparently, but out in the UK it's pronounced differently. Is it? Yeah. I always called it Hyundai. No, Hyundai. I always call it Hyundai. Hyundai. Hyundai or Hyundai. Yeah, so it's Hyundai so, like Hyundai. Sunday. That's what they said. Hyundai like Sunday. Coming from the source. <laughs> But this car, this is a really good car. Like the new Tucson's, like they're a good price. They have like the lane assist, the like steering mode, the auto stop, like a lot of the features of the Tesla. Ooh, there's the CVS. I think a lot of modern cars have a little safety features. Yeah. Um, they might be required by law, I'm not sure. The new cars, yeah. yeah. I think a lot of the new models oh. of like everything. Okay, yeah. little puppy. I'm gonna run into CVS. Oh, here you go, right here. Swerve into here. Yeah, perf. I'm gonna run into CVS and grab some Dramamine because we're also gonna like plan our vacation because we have been wanting to plan a vacation. Oh, we need one. We need a vacation. Oh. We told ourselves after shooting um, Curvy Connection we were gonna like take some time like to go away, just us. Dad's gonna stay in the car with you. It's okay. I'm just gonna run in. I'll be right back. You're gonna stay with your dad. All right. Do you need anything in here? Um, gum. Gum. I have gum in here. Oh, you do? Yeah. Thank you. All right. Mission Dramamine. We are not going to get sucked in. Secured. If you're ever looking for Dramamine, it was in the cold section. <laughs> and I was like, where the heck is Dramamine going to be? It was with the cold stuff. Say hello. We're on a road trip. And I'm just sticking my head out the window. Oh, I see what you're looking at. You're looking at the Petco, huh? This is actually kind of an iconic moment right here. He's looking at the pet go. A few moments later. Time for our first pee pee break. Probably the only one. We're about halfway there, so. Not too bad. You smell other dogs? You smell lots of pee pee, don't you? Sorry, both of his leashes are on. Let me take off your small leash. Yay, pee pee! Bruno still pees like a lady, but that's okay. It smells so good. Did we get the donuts last time? No. I think the last time we stopped here was when we went to Montreal. It was. This is the best pit stop. Everyone goes here. I love the donuts. We've never had them. Should we get some? Yeah. We should bring them. It smells insane. If you're from New England, you know this. This is like the most popular, or one of the most popular. I don't know if it's the most popular pit stop. We have gone to the bathroom and Yarman is securing his dream of the donuts. He's also determined we've gotten them before, but I really don't think so. Let's see. Hello. Donuts are secured. And they even have... So you didn't bring a charger? Uh, no, I didn't bring a charger. You didn't bring a charger? No. Did you bring a charger? I got a portable charger. Okay, good. I know I forgot something. I packed like very fast. We only got two donuts because we were bringing this huge coffee cake. Oh, I forgot we have the coffee cake, right? Yeah, we have the coffee cake. Um, these remind me a lot of the donuts from the farm I used to work at. I bet they taste the same. I'm kind of curious. Because like all of these places that have apple cider donuts, they're all very similar. Should I use that? Do you think it would charge better? My phone has been dying so fast. Keep telling you, you should get the max. No, I, I do need to get the max because I, I guess I can struggle with it being bigger just for the bigger battery. But between vlogging on it and yeah, it's charging. Thank you. That looks really good. Is it warm? It felt kind of warm. That's a big bite. Slay. Yeah. It's good. I want one bite. Mm -hmm. It's moist too. It's oh, like it's fresh. You know, it's not like dry. And that's like, not old, that's fresh. No. It's very moist. I don't mind the word moist. You know how some people hate the word moist? How come? Mmm, mm, that's really good. 
and it's nice and cidery. Some apple cider donuts like don't taste very cidery. You want another bite? No, I'm good. Yeah, it's all me now. 10 out of 10. Many hours later. Well, if it's not clear, we are in Vermont. It is very mountainous. <laughs> How else can you describe the area? Isn't it? Yeah, it's the Green Mountain State, yeah. Green Mountain State? Yeah, I think that's their uh, A low state, slogan. Yeah. It's so pretty. Can you hear Bruno in the backseat? <laughs> How you doing, Baba? We're almost there, okay? Almost there. A few minutes later. You sedated? <laughs> Hi, baby. I know. Hi, Muffin. For the ride. Oh, you don't no, like the car? Yes. Imagine being in a car with one windshield wiper instrumentally <laughs> downpouring. Alarming. <laughs> that Vermont life right here. Sure. This is some of the best watermelon yeah, sure. I've ever had. <laughs> we had it 27 feet away like the rules and Grandpa goes, screw this. Move it. Move it closer. <laughs> Let's restart. <laughs> they were, they, they started and it was not even reaching the board. <laughs> Alright, let's see. This is it now. See, at least we touched the board. <laughs> Oh, that looked promising. Oh. That did not. <laughs> I think we're getting used to the... The, the distance ratio. Yeah. Oh, so close. Look at what a good boy you're being. Good boy. Six and a half hours later. Okay, it is many hours later. We had a really fun day with family, and now we're checked in to our hotel. Say hi, Bruby. Say hi, Bruby. We've been settling in. We just fed Bruno, gave him water, took him out. Oh my God, babe, look how cute it is over here. Yeah, she Wait, is up. that part of the tavern? Yeah. Wait, should we just eat here with the dog? This is really cute. Look how cute it is out there, guys. Can you see it? It's like an outdoor patio. Um, but my aunt recommended this other spot. It's like a two minute walk. Um, so. Good recommendation. Huh? the recommendation i mean we already made a reservation so we should go um but yeah that we're 10 minutes late for no we're not 10 minutes late. okay we should go yeah. <laughs> we're going to this like farm to table spot so let's go <laughs> tomorrow good morning from me and bruno outside doing our little p and p-o-o -O. he did good last night he did a good job. Okay, you guys, we are packing up, getting ready to go. If you guys could have seen us last night in this queen bed and Bruno, we didn't bring his travel crate. Um, we haven't always, like, I, he usually just, like, sleeps on the floor because he tends to get hot really easily, like his mom. But he wanted to sleep with us. So on this queen bed, we've got me and Yar and then the dog who kept, like, coming up. And it was, oh, it was so hot. It was so hot. And the AC is controlled by, like, um, management. But they do have a fan, which helped a lot. I had the fan on me the whole night because I was hot. Um, but we went to bed really early because we were so pooped. Just from probably traveling, I guess. Um, Yara went to bed at 8.30. I went to bed at 9. And then I didn't sleep super well. I was kind of in and out the whole night. It was one of those nights where, like, you're just kind of in and out the whole night. Um, and then we woke up at 6. It's 7 now. But we're just gonna like get on the road, like get breakfast, get on the road, get home kind of early because he has work tomorrow so he can kind of chill a little bit. But overall though, it was still like a really good trip. Breakfast before we hit the road, this cute little cafe. Hello. Hello, how are you? Good, how are you? Oh, wow. <laughs> This place is amazing. Can we just talk about this thick piece of bread? Oh my God, this looks so good. And Yarman got like a big plethora of things. That looks amazing. <laughs> How majestic that looks. Like it looks so beautiful. I love the gas station. The gas station? Uh, she says gas. <laughs> Simple, and then look at this. This is a, a bookstore and a bakery called The Bookery. It's so cute. Okay guys, I'm living for this drive home right now because it is 58 degrees, it's 840. This drive is so pretty. It's just so beautiful. And like, I'm pretending it's fall. Like I want to spray a pumpkin spice spray right now. <laughs> and I wanna, I wanna watch Halloween Town because it literally feels 
like fall. 58 degrees. So cozy. We have the windows cracked. We both have on sweatshirts. It just feels so good. So we're heading home. Three and a half hours. We'll see how it goes. Should go by quick. Yesterday went by pretty fast. All right, you guys, we are home and guess where I'm going? <laughs> guess where we're going, me and Yar. We're going to the movies and if you follow me on threads, I was talking about how I thought the Barbie movie looked really cute, but like I didn't get like the hype because like it's been really hyped up. Um, but I'm gonna see it because it looks cute. I just didn't get the hype because like I think they had an amazing PR team. But like it does look like a cute movie. Um, so Yar and his friends are seeing Oppenheimer, and then me and my girlfriend are gonna go see um, Barbie at the same time. <laughs> it's not that Oppenheimer doesn't look good, but like my mental state, I just don't feel like I want to watch an intense movie. Like I'm just in the mood to watch something lighthearted and cute you know what i mean so i'm gonna go see barbie and give you guys a review um i've only seen like teasers of it though and i just watched a trailer and it looked really cute so i'm like maybe maybe i'm gonna get on the barb train i don't know i did like play with barbies growing up so i guess it is nostalgic that's what some of you guys were saying like that it looks really good to you because it's like a nostalgic thing now that i know the concept of it you know like barbie like the trailer i just watched like barbie goes to the real world it does look kind of uh kind of cute and interesting but um i feel just kind of like groggy from our road trip back like just sitting in the car for three and a half hours actually like four because we stopped and i just feel like kind of yucky so i just like washed um my face and i'm gonna put on makeup put on something pink because i'm a trend follower <laughs> and it just feels it just feels right should I put on pink eyeshadow? How Barbie am I about to go right now? I do love a theme. <laughs> I'm sorry, it does look cute. I just know like people have been going absolutely cuckoo bananas over it and I didn't quite understand the cuckoo banana vibe, but like it does look cute. But you guys, the makeup that I did yesterday that had to last all day for the drive and the reunion, it lasted all day through sweat. I forgot to tell you guys. <laughs> So we, we had Bruno, there was another dog there. I don't think I got footage of it, but it looked just like Bruno. So cute. It was like a sheep -a doodle but they were the same age and the same size. It was crazy. And you know, we had Bruno with his leash on. Bruno, he somehow wiggled his way through his harness and got off and started chasing chickens. And all of a sudden I look over, Yarman's taking off for him. I have a dress on, it's hot. I'm like, I'll let Yarman handle this. But Yarman had to chase Bruno who was chasing chickens and it was just an absolute sight. I wish I had it filmed. And you wanna know the funniest part? It happened twice. We tightened the harness. He didn't get the chickens, it's fine. The chick no chickens were harmed. They were pet chickens. And it happened twice. We tightened the harness and we had him like latched next to us as we were playing cornhole and Somehow, somehow he got off. <laughs> I'm like, how much tighter can we put this harness? Like, I don't want to put it too tight. The thing with Bruno is he's a very fluffy, the fur, like he can wiggle through because he's actually very, very skinny and small. So anyway, that was, that was the funny part. Um, but he did good at the hotel last night and he did good on the ride home. He's a great rider. I started him really young with taking rides and stuff, so because I always wanted him to be good in the car. So like I always say, start the habits you want with your dog as a puppy so they're used to it and it's always, you know, normal. So, all right, I'm gonna do my makeup and I will check back in when I have my Barbie outfit. Okay, here is the Barbie fit. This Old Navy dress I haven't had a chance to wear yet. It has pockets and it has smocking in the back and little tie strings. I don't know, it's easy, it's really hot out, so just felt like a good choice so let's go see barbie i just realized that yar still has a little peely tab here so i thought i would do it for the aesthetics <laughs> for the tingles ready nice hey right, babe are you excited to see oppenheimer 
Yeah, so you're excited to see Barbie? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I would watch Barbie with you, but he was I, it, was, see it, was, it. it was the perfect excuse to, like, yeah. split the... Uh... He was going to see Barbie with me, but it made sense because him and his guy friends were going to see Oppenheimer. So I asked his friend's wife, who's also my friend, I was like, you want to see Barbie? <laughs> Will they see Oppenheimer? And I think it's so funny. We were saying how they lined up the movie time so perfectly. <laughs> totally on purpose. So people could go see different things probably i had to do it you guys it's gonna be tomorrow good morning you guys i got up a little while ago and i'm getting ready and i'm like i don't think i ever updated after the barbie movie oh my gosh it was so good it really was so good <laughs> like even if you don't feel like you want to see it i would honestly totally recommend it i will not give any spoilers but honestly it just had such great messaging just so many like cute funny moments i was really impressed totally cried at the end like teared up tried not to... <laughs> it was a jam-packed theater like we were next to strangers me and my friend um like every seat was taken and thank god we like picked our seats in advance so we were at least like um on the end I totally teared up in the end and i'm like <laughs> like trying to Try to toss the tears back. But it was, it was like kind of emotional. I loved it. So anyway, honestly, I would give it a solid um, like 10 out of 10. Um, I just loved it. I really did. So anyway, guys, it is Monday. Putting on some under eye balm. I'm just, I'm so tired from life. Um, so definitely gonna need me a little energy drink today and we're gonna go to upper body day gotta scrape out that last bit of the laneige sleeping lip balm i've been having a hard time with my hair lately this happens to me like every time my hair gets to a certain length and i think it because it's because it's summer where i'm like i don't know what to do with it and i want to push through and get it you know, past the boobs. I really do want to get it that long. But the other day, I really just wanted to chop it. I really wanted to chop it. I just, I love the way my hair looks short, but I think once we get to like fall and winter, I'm gonna wish that I let it, you know, get all the way long. Cause it's definitely getting, you know, pretty long. I think it's from taking, you know, prenatals for as long as we have been trying. So today on the agenda is gym, folding laundry, um, editing, like a lot of just like Monday things, getting groceries. So it's Monday. Ooh, someone is bopping. <laughs> Can you guys hear that bass? I don't know where that's coming from. Anyway, um, I'm off to the gym. I'm in a line of traffic, but I decided to try something new. I got one of them at Target just to try it. This prime drink, um, cause they had ice pop. <laughs> Can you guys hear the music? <laughs> um, and the thought of like ice pop as a drink sounded so good so i had a couple sips and it was really good and now that i've had a few more sips i'm like i don't i liked it the first few sips and now it just feels like too much so i don't know if i'm gonna finish it but um i don't know it does really taste like ice pop at first but then like i said after a few sips it's like what is this so oh let's go get our monday workout on i'm in the tesla because we took my car to vermont and it needs an oil change so we're switching to the Tesla first day. Okay, I have to remember <laughs> to utilize Tesla features because like I could cool down the car before because it's very hot and I'm sweating. So anyway, workout was really good. I actually gonna go, I think I'm gonna get my nails done. Look how long my thumbnail is, can you even tell? These are over two weeks old. So I think they're like two and a half weeks. I don't know, but they're getting really long and a little bit uncomfortable, but hey, we had the pink for the Barbie movie. So I don't know what I'm gonna do today. Maybe something simple or summery. Let's just go and see what colors we can find and connect with. All right, you guys, here is the before. These are new bike shorts from Target. I didn't wear the matching bra because it felt like a little too much, but let's go. A few moments later. Okay, I'm obsessed with this red. It's called My Chihuahua Bites from OPI. It's dip powder. Oh my gosh, he did such a good job. I love. Bruno and I like to come sit in dad's office while he works sometimes and sit on the couch, right? You love it in here, huh? Give a sniff. How does the audience smell today? 
Are they fresh? Are they clean? Oh, I don't know. Oh, he said yucky. <laughs> oh, you want the belly rubs? Oh, just the best, huh? We're going to go pick up the Whole Foods order together because I know you want to go for a R-I-D-E, but I can't say it until it's time to go because you'll freak out. You'll freak out. Bruni and I just went and picked up the Whole Foods order. I got this petite bouquet, and I love that they brought it out in a cup of water. Isn't it so cute? Don't you just love it? Look how good you are. You are so handsome. Were you sticking your head out the window and having a good ride? Do you love the car? All right, you guys, I am back from the grocery store. Let me do a little haul. So I got a rotisserie chicken because I am going to make some like buffalo chicken spring rolls for lunch today, like a high protein version. So I'm gonna use these brown rice spring roll wrappers to make them and we'll see how it goes. <laughs> I don't know, I saw like something random that looked similar to this on TikTok, but I'm gonna like do it my own way. And then we needed a restock of brown rice. If you guys want snack recommendations, these are two of Yara's favorite, the white cheddar popcorn, it's like smart food. And then he loves these peanut butter pretzels. And then of course, oh, these look good, yay. I could eat a bag of cherries every day, honestly. It's like candy, especially watching TV at night. I just love cherries. The Rainier cherries are my fave, but I love all cherries. And then of course, big old thing of spring mix. And then I got a few packs of chicken breast and a few different kinds of yogurt. Um, I don't know why I got two different kinds. We like both the Siggies, the lower sugar one, and then just some mixed berry chobani. And I like getting this avocado oil blend. It's half avocado oil, half um, extra virgin olive oil. And then I just got some olive oil spray. Of course, a bunch of bananas and oranges. And then orange juice for yar. Some shredded cheese, egg whites. And then I usually buy the Oscar Mayer Naturals cheese and cracker. Like they have like 15 grams of protein, they're so good. It has like turkey cheese and like little triscuits. Um, so this was like the closest version at Whole Foods just because I was already going there. And I've definitely got these before. Um, it's with salami, fontina cheese, and artisan artisanal crackers. 13 grams protein, just one of my favorite quick little on-the-go protein snacks. Just some turkey breast, American cheese, um, little baby bells, yes, again. Another great little snack, little cheese. And then I'm so happy they had it. Sometimes they don't have it. My favorite, Blonde Rose Cold Brew. And then Yar's Green Juice. And then I can't remember if I told the vlog or not. I don't think I did. When we got home yesterday, I can't remember if I said this. Uh, I left the freezer open. I think I said this already. Anyway, I left the freezer open and a lot of stuff thawed out. Um, some stuff was still cold. We were only gone a day and it stayed like cold, but a lot of the stuff we had to get rid of. Um, I got, we were low anyway, so I just got like um, more frozen fruit because it was just melted. It just creeped me out, I don't know. It might've been fine. And then more frozen broccoli, which is a staple. I saw this recipe for like this smashed roasted broccoli that looks delish. Chicky tendies, a staple. And frozen corn. And then we love these for a little dessert these kind frozen bars. They're like a Snickers, they're so good. Um, the dark chocolate and almond sea salt nut bars. They're so delish. Oh, and then we found these bagels, which are similar to Dave's, but so much better. Oh my God, if you want like um, a bagel with some like nutritional value, eat regular bagels, that's great. Nothing wrong with that. I just need um, a bagel with like a protein level um, from my surgery. These from One Mighty Mill, try these. I beg you, the um, everything. It's 35 grams of whole wheat, only one gram of sugar, and nine grams of plant protein per bagel. I'm telling you, toast it lightly, so soft and chewy. It's like just the most real bagel. It's so much better than Dave's, and I like Dave's. These are so much better. Oh my God, please, please try these and let me know if you like them. We are absolutely obsessed. They're a little bit pricey, which is annoying, but oh my gosh, are they delicious. And then we just ran out of maple syrup because sometimes I make pancakes for Yar or we have protein pancakes. Um, so I just grabbed a another maple syrup. And then the last thing is 
these are so good these jalapeno cream cheese bites another thing i had in the freezer that like went i just like to have these in the freezer and i air fry a few if i just want a little snack they are delicious another staple so that's our order oh it was a lot okay i'm gonna put all this away take a shower i'm gonna upload this footage i have no idea where i'm at with this vlog i have no idea <laughs> so we'll see where we're at with the footage okay so here is my mixture for inside the spring rolls so it's pulled chicken from the rotisserie um a big blob of non-fat plain greek yogurt some ranch seasoning shredded cheese salt and pepper and then taste it of course before you do anything with it but yeah we're gonna just wrap up a few and pop them in the air fryer so i've never used spring roll wrappers before so please don't judge me okay so we need to this is my first time doing this so please don't judge me quickly dip it in water and let it sit here for a second and soften i'm just reading the directions and then once it's soft we'll just add some of our filling roll it up nice and tight and then i'm just gonna spray with a little of the new avocado oil and then air fry it for like a couple minutes so that's my plan I don't know how long exactly it takes for this to soften. I mean, it feels pretty soft. I think it's soft. Hard to tell. Yeah, I think it's soft enough to roll. Okay. Oh my gosh, you guys are gonna judge me so hard for these, but please don't. So this one broke a little bit. I feel like maybe I needed to wait a little longer for it to like get softer maybe, but I'm gonna put the ones that are done. Just prepped in the air fryer here with my little silicone insert from Amazon. I will link it. Oh yeah, that got a lot softer. Okay, so it just needs more time for it to get like super soft. Okay, okay, we'll get there. It's a learning curve. Nothing wrong with learning people. A few minutes later. Okay, so I waited longer for this one and it is so much softer. We're learning, we're learning. Um, and the great thing is I can, I'm just gonna make a few of these. I think I'll make three and I'll keep the rest of the stuff in the fridge oh my gosh so much better oh see i could edit out the messed up one but you know what it's a learning curve <laughs> and that's okay <gasps> yay that's so much better okay so the trick let it soften for at least a few minutes you'll feel the difference okay so here are our final three we're just going to do a little spritz of avocado oil I'm just gonna do 350 for honestly like five minutes just to make sure we don't do too much also i'm still loving this air fryer for anyone curious this was that beautiful brand by drew barrymore it's really really good so if you want like an aesthetic air fryer that is good i will link it because it was a great price and it's just like so pretty a few moments later okay so here's how they came out um they're kind of falling apart but the parts where it like overlapped were better. So I almost feel like you might need to use two, but I'm gonna eat them with a fork, but they still look delish. Let me know if you guys have any tips or tricks. This would also go great with um, the carb balance tortillas. You can make them more like taquito vibes, but I wanted to try something different. Many hours later. Okay, I just got so sucked into editing and I'm taking a break and opening some packages so i got this from this brand called flings and it looks like it's a high protein keto friendly high source of fiber pastry like toaster pastries like pop tarts so i've tried like protein pop tart alternatives before i don't know what they're called they're pretty popular um, but these are new ones called flings so i'm gonna try them and give you an honest review <laughs> so we have um sticky cinnamon hot chocolate and summer strawberry. So my favorite kind of pop tart vibe is like the cinnamon. So I'm gonna try the sticky cinnamon and let you guys know how they are. So one pastry has 150 calories, 10 grams of protein, one gram of sugar and four grams of net carbs. And they come in packs of one, unlike a regular pop tart. I'm not gonna lie, I don't have like the highest hopes for this. I hope they're good. Already the ratio. This is how Pop-Tarts used to be though too. It's like the icing would never quite be right, but oh, I hope it's good. Let's see. Mm, I do think this might be better than the other kind I've had before. So here's what it looks like. It has like more of a true Pop-Tart 
texture than the other one. It doesn't taste super proteiny or anything. It's of course not like giving full Pop-Tart, but it's better than the other protein kind. I'd give this like a seven out of 10. It's really not bad. Um, you know, I'm glad it doesn't have like a super strong proteiny taste because that's like the worst. But actually, yeah, pretty good actually. Maybe 7.5. Hmm. I'm really excited to try the other flavors another time. So stand by. But you know, I'm always on the hunt for like good protein alternatives. As I said, I got sucked into editing. You don't want to know what time it is. It's almost five. So I need to shower. <laughs> I need to go shower and make dinner. So I don't know what we're having for dinner. I had so much editing to do today. I didn't fold the laundry either. I'll probably fold it after dinner. But um, oh, it felt good to get a lot done though. We got we got a lot done today, y'all. Tomorrow. Good morning, you guys. It is Tuesday. I figured I would just like keep vlogging right now because I'm posting Curvy Connection on Tuesday and Thursday. So this vlog on Sunday is gonna be really long. So it's just a big mishmash mush of vlog but hopefully that's cool with you guys but after curvy connection we're back on like the normal vlog schedule happy tuesday um i am drinking a celsius i already had breakfast i was gonna take the dog for a walk but honestly the humidity is it's very yucky so i'll play with him inside <laughs> but i have laundry that has been just like looking at me to get folded for a while and our bedroom's kind of been a mess. I want to dedicate this morning like while I have energy because I'm the most productive in the morning. Like afternoon, I just like lose steam. So I'm the most productive in the morning. So I got to do what I gotta, what I can do in the morning. So we're going to fold laundry. Yara's doing another load right now. So I might have to do laundry again tonight and some folding, but I'm going to do the big pile I have now. I want to wash the sheets. I just want to like kind of tidy up my office and the bedroom clean and organized because you know you know what they say clean house clean mind like when things start to get messy and disorganized that's when like get a little funky <laughs> mentally i also have clothes there um to put away those <laughs> that little pile of clothes i've said it before but it's a great little hack if you are constantly like taking off clothes that you you know, they're not dirty, like you only wore them a little bit and you don't wanna like put them back and like you find yourself just throwing them on the floor. Put them in a cute basket <laughs> so it at least can like look presentable in the meantime. And then when I fold laundry, I do those too. It's kind of like our little thing. And it just, I don't know, you'd be surprised how much it helps. Are you gonna help me fold? Are you gonna help me fold? <laughs> it's like, ma'am, I'm a dog. I'm gonna fold this. Put those away, put away my little Amazon weekender bag. I have a couple things in here from Abercrombie. See, and then I put stuff over here that I like want to film before I put it away and forget about it. But like my vlog schedule has been so wonky <laughs> because of um, Curvy Connection. So I'm just, I'm all confused. So let's put the weekender back. And like I've let my closet go a little bit. I mean, not really, just this little pile over here, but. Alas, I need to fix it. Please disregard the sound of the dryer, but laundry is done. Switched into my Abercrombie shorts to go with this top. Got water right here, but um, we're gonna go do a Target pickup. We, as in me and Bruno, uh, and I was kind of contemplating about poking around TJ Maxx because I think their Halloween stuff is out. <laughs> Yarman. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna bring the Tesla in case I decide to, so I can put dog mode on for like, 15 minutes quick poke around we'll see let's go bruni and i are doing our target pickup i don't feel like poking around tj maxx i don't know you want to know why because i saw a girl on tiktok go to tj maxx and i'm like now i want to go to tj maxx but i don't really want to go to tj maxx 
I have to go home and get some work done and like put on makeup and film some stuff. Also, I got these Prada sunglasses that I see all the, all the cool kids wearing and I think they're cute and cool. Um, but you want to know what? Driving with these on, because they have such a thick side, it's like not safe because <laughs> like it totally blocks your peripheral vision. So I was like, I just put them up. I'm like, I can't wear these while I drive. They look kind of cool. I don't feel like they totally fit right with my round face. Like they feel I, like I want them to be wider. So I'm going to try to find like a dupe on Amazon that's like wider than these. I like want to return these, but I don't have the box. <laughs> so I'm just going to wear them up on top of my head sometimes. That's like a fake headband. So good stuff. So I got the trunk open, which is nice because my other car, I get out and open the trunk. Um, so it's kind of nice sometimes to just be able to pop the trunk like, like in my old car automatic because I think I just have like one or two bags when I have a big order I always like get out and help them unload it but it's like a quick little order today so I think I'm gonna make another ninja creamy today <sighs> gotta figure out what's for dinner if I need to like marinate chicken or take anything out of the freezer although we don't have much in the freezer now so I just did an Amazon return also at UPS and yeah we're just we're just getting things done today it feels so good to have the laundry done even though there's more later but that first load has been sitting there for like a week and I just like could not bring myself to fold it I don't know it was just like a weird time I've been like a little anxious oh here, here he comes Ooh. a few minutes later okay you guys I'm at a stoplight the guy who brought out my target order was so nice and I know that like god and the universe sent him to me today because he was like you have great energy like keep up the positivity and i was like that means so much because seriously like i've been going through some stuff like everyone's just going through stuff and he was like yeah the people i talk to every day here doing my job are just like so mean and like just very cold and i'm like why can't we all just be nice to each other and i was like yeah it's not hard to like just smile and be nice to people and we just, I don't know, we just really connected and it was such a positive chat and like we both just gave each other a high five. We're like, keep it up. Like, let's just keep being positive people and spreading good vibes. And honestly, it just, I don't know, it just made my day. It was one of those things where it was like the universe had us cross paths because we needed each other. Okay, I just whipped up some new Ninja Creamy. Tonight I'm going to make chocolate chip cookie dough. But for my base, I did the light vanilla ice cream. So I did, I didn't do fat free half and half. I ended up doing half 1% milk and then half unsweetened vanilla almond milk. Um, I did this recipe, but just with half 1% milk, half unsweetened vanilla almond milk. And then I did the 55 grams of Truvia and a tablespoon, not a tablespoon, a teaspoon, oh my gosh, of vanilla extract. Mix it up really well. I always do a little taste before I freeze it just to make sure it tastes right. Tastes so good. Um, and then for my mix in, I'm gonna do some sugar-free chocolate chips and cut up one, one or two of these for like a cookie dough, taco chocolate chip cookie dough. And then I also made Yar his favorite um, mint one, which we just follow um, the recipe in here, the mint chocolate chip. And then we do the light vanilla base for his as well. So loving the Ninja Creamy. If you guys haven't got it yet, I'm going to link it. It's so great for making like healthier homemade ice cream or just homemade ice cream in general. You can make all these things and then I spin it on light ice cream. I've showed myself doing it many times, but we're going to have some homemade ice cream while we watch Curvy Connection tonight. And you can also add in like protein powders and Instead of doing these, if I had one, I would have done um, a vanilla protein shake or at least half, um, but at least this is like a nice low sugar version. So it's gonna be so good. Many hours later. Okay, I've got many updates. Oh my gosh, I'm sweating. So I worked till about four, then I just took Bruno for a walk cause it's like cooling down now. Um, and now I'm making dinner. I just put it in the oven and oh my gosh, why? <laughs> Why did I choose to cook an oven meal on such a hot day? I mean, like, I feel like growing up in the summer, my grandma would always avoid cooking. I just, like, remember that, avoid cooking with the stove. <laughs> so I'm sweating. In the summer, most nights I just take a shower right before bed, pretty much every night, because it's just, like, 
getting into bed like with a fresh cold shower and then fresh pjs and then tonight it's fresh sheets oh my gosh the best feeling but bruno is the best boy who's a good boy baba and we did this cute little tiktok trend where he's like a paw patrol cartoon he looks so cute so anyway we're gonna eat dinner watch a show we started a new show because we're watching hijack right now on apple which is amazing with idris elba i've already mentioned so good um apple tv makes some banger shows um but since that one is coming out weekly and we're caught up we're also watching um the last thing he told me on apple tv plus with jennifer garner we only watched the first episode so far we watched it last night we liked it like we weren't like obsessed but we liked it so we're gonna keep watching see how we feel we also started platonic on apple tv plus which i think i mentioned y'all didn't love it so I think I might continue it alone because it's kind of funny and lighthearted. But I also have a lot of other shows I'm watching right now. Sweet Magnolias came out with another season, 90 Day Fiance. So not <coughs> just your dad. Yeah, I mean, was on a run. We walked by each other and Bruno went crazy. Um, so yeah. And then we're going to watch Curvy Connection, episode four. You want me to record your reaction to drinking the new banana cream olipop? Yes, so I go do. ahead. <laughs> I have not tried it yet. Had it for days. This is gonna be really good or really bad. Banana cream. What do you think, good or bad? Uh, decent, average. Ooh, it's, it smells like banana. Wait. That tastes like straight up banana bread. Honestly, I kind of like it. Doesn't it taste just like banana bread? Yeah. Like. It's kind of giving me banana flavored Laffy Taffy. Yeah, banana flavored Laffy Taffy meets banana bread. Mm -hmm. You can have it though. I now I'm it. good. I've been pounding water the entire day, so my belly's kind of full. I won't buy it again. It's just, it's not refreshing. You're going to stick to your cherry limeade? Cherry limeade poppy is the way to go, but... If you like banana-flavored stuff, though, I mean, it's not bad. I just, I just don't... Oh, wait, is, is it a different brand? Olipop and... Olipop and poppy. They're, like, the same, but different. Uh, okay. <laughs> we love them both. Many hours later. What'd you think of the new episode? Pretty good? <laughs> so, I just... <laughs> I'm filming this with the back camera and the flashlight. I have no idea how this looks. But we just watched the premiere of episode four of Curvy Connection. And it was so fun. We always hang out in the chats. But a little bit of a twist. I mean, it'll be over by the time this goes up. So you guys will know. I won't spoil it if you haven't watched it yet. But go watch my plus size dating show, Curvy Connection. Full thing will be out when this vlog goes up. But yeah really fun really fun to watch i'm so sad though the ninja creamy it was not frozen enough it had only been in the freezer for like seven hours you re it really needs at least 12 they recommend a whole 24 but it needs like 12 at least so we didn't get to eat it <laughs> we took i took a few bites of it like kind of um frozen slushy style it would taste it good but yeah it wasn't frozen enough so Anyway, I'm going to end this vlog here because I think I have like a ton of footage. I'll probably start vlogging like tomorrow, but for the next vlog, because I'm going to need to start getting the content ready for normal programming. So I thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. I think it's almost an hour long, which is like the longest vlog I think I've ever posted, I think. So anyway, um, I'm so glad that you guys enjoyed Curvy Connection. Thank you again from the bottom of my heart for being so supportive and so sweet and just um overall like supporting me throughout this project it was very scary and a lot of work but um seeing the positive feedback from you guys and seeing so many people feel represented um in the reality dating show space made it all worth it and again shout out to everyone um on the cast all the contestants i love you guys you are the best um truly just amazing amazing people so show them lots of love on social social media um, and there will be some Curvy Connection bonus content if it's not up already. So hopefully you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.